prop fan, also called an open rotor engine, or unducted fan, is a type of aircraft engine related in concept to both the turboprop and turbofan, but distinct from both. A prop fan is typically designed with a large number of short, highly twisted blades, similar to a turbofan's bypass compressor. In 1986, British engine maker Rolls-Royce used the term open rotor as a synonym for the original meaning of a prop fan. By the 2000s, open rotor became a preferred term for prop fan technology in research and news reports, with contra-rotating open rotor also occasionally being used to distinguish between single rotation prop fans. Elsa yet differentiates between turbo props and prop fans according to 11 different criteria, including number of blades, blade shape, tip speed, bypass ratio, Mach number, and cruise altitude. The prop fan concept was outlined by Karl Robuck and Bruce Metzger of the Hamilton Standard Division of United Technologies in 1975 and was patented by Robuck and Robert Cornell of Hamilton Standard in 1979. Hamilton Standard, the only remaining large American manufacturer of aircraft propellers, developed the prop fan concept in the early 1970s. Numerous design variations of the prop fan were tested by Hamilton Standard, in conjunction with NASA in this decade. This testing led to the prop fan test assessment program, where Lockheed Georgia proposed modifying a Gulf Stream 2 to act as in-flight testbed for the prop fan concept, while McDonnell Douglas proposed modifying a DC-9 for the same purpose. The engine used an 8-bladed, 9-foot diameter, single-rotation Hamilton Standard SR-7 prop fan as its propulsor. The GE-36 unducted fan, from the American engine maker General Electric with 35% participation from French partner Snecma, was a variation on the original prop fan concept and resembled a pusher configuration piston engine. Air framers, who had been wary of issue-prone gearboxes since the 1950s, like GE's gearless version of the prop fan, Boeing intended to offer GE's pusher UDF engine on the 7J7 platform, and McDonnell Douglas was going to do likewise on their MD-94 Rex airliner. At the beginning of the 1990s, the Soviet Union slash Russia performed flight tests on the Progress D-236 a geared contra-rotating prop fan engine based on the core of the Progress D36 turbofan, with eight blades on the front propeller and six blades on the back propeller. One testbed was a 10,100 horsepower prop fan mounted to an Aleutian Eel 76 and flown to the Hanover Rila 90 airshow, which was intended for an unidentified four prop fan aircraft. The other testbed was a 10,990 horsepower. 14 feet unit mounted to a Yakov Lev Yak 42 ELL and flown to the 1991 Paris Air Show. As a demonstration for the planned Yak 46 aircraft with twin prop fan engines, which in its base 150 seat version would have a range of 1,900 nautical miles and cruise at a speed of 460 knots. In static and air tests on a modified Douglas DC-9, prop fans reached a 30% improvement over the OEM turbo fans. The prop fan research in the 1980s discovered ways to reduce noise, but at the cost of reduced fuel efficiency, mitigating some of the advantages of a prop fan. For contra-rotating prop fans, which can be louder than turbo props or single rotating prop fans, noise can also be lowered by, increasing the gap between the front propeller and the back propeller, making sure the blade lengths of the back propeller are shorter than those of the front propeller, so that the back propeller blades avoid cutting through the blade tip vortices of the front propeller, using a different number of blades on the front propeller compared to the back propeller, to avoid acoustic reinforcement and turning the front propeller and back propeller at different rotational speeds, also to prevent acoustic reinforcement. Engine makers expect prop fan implementations to meet community noise regulations without sacrificing the efficiency advantage. Geared prop fans should have an advantage over ungeared prop fans for the same reason. A 2012 trade study projected that noise from existing open rotor technology would be 10 to 13 decibels quieter than the maximum noise level allowed by the Stage 4 regulations. The newer Stage 5 noise limits are more restrictive than the Stage 4 requirement by only 7 effective perceived noise decibels, so current prop found technology shouldn't be hindered by the Stage 5 standards.
A twin-engine aircraft carrying 100 to 150 passengers would require prop fan diameters of 120 to 168 inches, and a prop fan with a propeller diameter of 236 in would theoretically produce almost 60,000 pounds of thrust. For the Rolls-Royce RB3011 prop fan prototype, a pylon of about 8.3 feet long would be required to connect the center of each engine to the side of the fuselage. If the prop fans are mounted to the wings, the wings would be attached to the aircraft in a high wing configuration, which allows for ground clearance without requiring excessively long landing gear. For the same amount of power or thrust produced, an unducted fan requires shorter blades than a geared prop fan, although the overall installation issues still apply. Turbo props and most prop fans are rated by the amount of shaft horsepower that they produce, as opposed to turbo fans in the UDF prop fan type, which are rated by the amount of thrust they put out.